Hello, welcome to another Flaming Dice review video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Ruckus, the Goblin Army game. This was a Kickstarter game back at the beginning of 2014, and we just got it in our local gaming shop a couple months ago. And we just played it here recently for the first time. We're going to take a look at what's inside of it, and then we'll be back to give our final thoughts. At the heart of Ruckus is Goblin Warfare. Uh, in this example, the yellow clerics are going against the gray thieves. Now the cool thing about Ruckus is that instead of individual cards doing damage as you would in say Magic the Gathering, uh, armies do damage to each other simultaneously. Now I'm not going to go into exactly how all of that is formulated, but, for example, you look at the top of the cards of the front row to see how much melee damage is done to the other armies. And it does support two to four players. The back row can only lend damage if there are ranged attackers. Uh, the damage is then divided, or excuse me, is then applied to the opposing armies and hearts and shields. Uh, do their part to soak up damage. You get to decide who takes damage. For example, if both of these armies was going to take three damage, Sneaky here could die. Scavenge could die because each one of them have one life and that would leave Barry's brother who has one shield and one heart. The third damage goes to Barry's brother's shield. Barry's brother lives. At the next turn, we could choose to reinforce the front row by moving armies up, drawing cards, and playing them into the back rows. We'll get into more of that in just a moment. So here is an example of one of the army formations in Ruckus, uh, as illustrated by the back of the really cool player shield. Uh, armies can be in a 3-2 formation, a 2-2-1 two, two, formation, or a 3-1-1 one, one formation. And as seen here, the this example, the cards are in a 3-2 formation. So now we're going to take a look at some of the individual cards. Um, on the far left we have Healy, who has one melee damage. Oh, by the way, I'm trying a laser pointer. Let's see how that works. Uh, Healy, who has one melee damage and two life. He also has one uh, activated ability. So at the beginning of each turn, the players can activate one ability by placing a green cube on the player or on the card's active or ability square, and that lets you activate their uh, that card's ability. Rat and Tat, for example, here have one ranged damage, meaning that even if they're in the back row, they can still contribute damage. Uh, when the damage is done or dealt. And they have one life. Over here on the right, Walker has one melee damage, one life, and an activated ability. And again, we're not going to get into all of all the different abilities. Uh, some of them let you add more cards to, the, uh, to your army formation every turn. Some of them let you play upgrade cards. And we're going to take a look at those next. Combat in the game is done in rounds. And once only one army is able to field units, uh, then the armies are, or the winner of the combat round is rewarded. And they get to draw one of the five victory cards that are on the table. Uh, I'm going to show you a few examples of those. For example, Lucky, when you win this card, draw two uh, victory point tokens and return, uh, you keep one, return the other. And victory point tokens are these little things with the diamonds on them. You can flip them over and they'll either give you victory points or a bonus that you can add to a character card to give them damage or life. Two victory points, one victory point. Uh, some of them lend range damage to your cards. Uh, some of the other ones, so close. When you win this card, gain one victory point token. Uh, G800, when you win this card, gain one victory point token, and then it lets you play this card as a unit. And it's just a really powerful, uh, or it's just a powerful bonus card with one melee damage, uh, one, def uh, one shield, 
and one life, but it adds a unit to your army. So that's pretty cool. And then after the combat round, uh, cards are shuffled and you go again using your upgrades. First person, or the at the end of the game, uh, person with the most victory points from tokens or from any source is the winner. All right, now that we've seen what's inside of the game, let's talk about what we liked and didn't like about it. I've got to be honest, I wasn't crazy about it. This guy, he liked it though. What'd you think? I thought it was fun and and it was very, very challenging to learn. <laughs> it was challenging to learn. Uh, one of my biggest complaints about it actually is the uh, instruction book that comes with it. All over the place, it made it incredibly difficult to learn to me. I don't know why, but the way that the rule book was laid out, it just made it very uh, not intuitive. It seemed like I was jumping back and forth a lot, more so than usual. I know a lot of games you have to jump back and forth. Uh, this one, it just seemed to be all over the place. Uh, what did you think, Dagan? I liked it because I really am a fan of goblins, and I didn't like it because it was just hard. Yeah, it was hard. Uh, that's another thing that could be mentioned. The uh, game says for ages 8 and up, I just cannot see an 8-year-old playing this. How old are you? 10. 10. Barely got it. Uh, I would say that some of the nuances were you even escaped him. I had to walk him through a lot of it. I just can't see an 8-year-old playing it. Uh, was there anything you didn't like about the game? No. You loved it? I loved it. Yeah, I, I just wasn't crazy about it. Uh, the mechanic was of the armies facing off and dealing damage to each other simultaneously was neat, um, but not enough to really captivate me. Uh, I don't know. Any final thoughts? Mm. No? Thumbs up, thumbs down? Okay. You liked it? You liked the game? Yeah. Alright. You, one, two thumbs up. Two thumbs down? Two thumbs up? Alright. Me, you get one. Yeah. <laughs> I ran it through our scoring system uh, on Flaming Dice Reviews uh, .blog .com. Wait, that's not our website. It's just Flaming Dice .blog .com. That's it. Flaming Dice .blog .com. Ran it through our scoring system, which scores a game uh, in eight categories. It came back with a 70 out of 100. I honestly thought it was going to be lower, but it did get a 70. So, any other thoughts? Is that it? Ruckus the Goblin Army game. 70 out of 100. 70 out of 100. That's what I meant to say. Goodbye.